Original vs Definitive, a series where I look at both versions of GTA San Andreas and see which one is better. Today we'll complete the first three missions in the beginning, Big Smoke and Sweet and Candle since they represent the introduction to the game. In these missions you get arrested by Crash, get dropped off in Bola Country, ride a bike to your safe house, meet Big Smoke, meet the rest of the crew at the cemetery and ride or drive back to Grove Street. We'll compare tasks, execution, speedrun tactics and gameplay. Both games are completely vanilla, played on PC. I am your host, Bad Infos, a GTA player for over 20 years. Leave a like and subscribe for more of the same. Now let's see how these missions compare between both versions. For starters, CJ's suitcase here has always looked like it's sunken into the floor at the airport in the original, however the Definitive Edition fixed it by the looks of it. Apart from that, nothing really else to say about the opening cutscene since everything else looks the same, with only improved graphics in the Definitive. On to bike riding, in the original if you wanna ride a bike fast you need to tap the W button. In the Definitive Edition, for simplicity you now just hold it, making riding a bike quick easier. But if you wanna cruise around, then it's a terrible addition. Now onto the mission Big Smoke. Once entering the house you are greeted by a new character called Big Chungus who is only missing some bunny ears because his teeth are on point. <laughs> Jokes aside, Big Smoke now has bunny teeth. But everything else in the cutscene is the same apart from CJ's mom having a sex change in the Definitive Edition, she is now a man. Moving on to Sweet and Candle with the new change, with the W button getting rid of your tail is much easier since you can concentrate on looking out for cars and not mashing a button constantly. In the original failing a mission at this point would send you to the beginning, however in the Definitive Edition checkpoints were added so you restart from here. At this location the pursuing car spawns a second time, looking at it will prevent it from spawning in the original version. In the definitive edition however this is impossible since you can't ride forward and look back in a bicycle. Your camera will move by itself and make you look away. Once you enter your safe house you notice how the video game from the original is now renamed to Machine in the Definitive. You also notice how every single painting in the house, apart from the cat in your bedroom from the original is changed in the Definitive Edition. Sweet's cat was even added to the table in the kitchen. In the original if CG looks at himself in the mirror in higher resolutions his face and body will break. This was fixed in the Definitive. Alright, now on to the speedrun tactics. A very useful speedrun tactic is wasting the ballers chasing you in the last mission. Doing so skips a future cutscene and they won't appear again. I'm happy to say that this is still possible in the Definitive Edition without much hassle. Secondly, pushing your homies speed things along in the original and it even works in the Definitive as well. Overall, the introduction to San Andreas is intense and lengthy. Seeing how the Definitive fixed some glitches, although it introduced some odds hers, it kept the useful exploits, added an easier bike movement for this mission and upscaled the looks of the game, I would have to say that the Definitive Edition takes a point from me. For these opening missions the game is better played on the Definitive Edition. Agree? Disagree? Let me know down below. While you're still down there, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to my top channel members and patrons. Monish Pradeep, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, Ellen MP Racing, House the Chowder, Max Ridge, Smokeyo, and everybody else on the screen. Become a supporter today!